internet that you grew up with is dead. No one is talking about this though, so let me explain. It all started with Web 1. This is where companies posted something online and you could simply read what they put on their websites. Then came Web 2. This allowed us to read and write. This is the era of social media where you can post on Facebook or you can post a YouTube video. Now the big takeaway with this one is that whatever you posted on those websites, it's not your content. You don't own it. If you post a YouTube video, on the YouTube platform, it's owned by them. Well, now we're stepping into Web3, and the entire idea is different. It's not about reading and creating anymore. It's about actually owning what you do online. And the reason this matters is simple. When you own something, nobody can take it away. No platform can lock you out. Nobody can freeze your account. Nobody can delete your digital identity overnight. This is Web3 in a nutshell, and it is happening right now. But what most people don't realize is there are no traditional logins, emails, passwords. Everything is controlled by your Web3 wallet. This is your key to get into everything. This all sounds super complex, but there are some companies that are already ahead of the curve making really simple to use web wallets. The one that I found and that I like is called Lace. You can literally install it as an extension in your browser. And it's from the same team that is behind Cardano, so they have a really insane track record when it comes to security. If you are ready to move from the old internet where you rent everything, to the new internet where you own everything, it all starts with a good Web3 wallet. Go check Lace out. It is 100% free, and it is the one that I recommend.